Prenada on board OECS initiative to increase competitiveness in the agriculture sector. The goal is basically for the buyer to get, uh, on the t uh, as I said, the quality, quantity, timeliness of the produce that they want and that from the producer that they can uh, uh, sell that uh, and prepare actually production already with the market in mind. Details to this story and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I'm Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall. Grenada has signed an agreement with the World Bank that will reap benefits under the project Improving Competitiveness in the Agriculture Sector in the OECS. The agreement, which was signed on Friday by the bank and Grenada's ambassador in Washington, gives this country access to $4 million EC dollars under the project, while St. Vincent and the Grenadines will receive $4.3 million. The aim is to increase competitiveness of those in the food value chain. What we are suggesting here in this project is really to have a holistic value chain approach in order to have all the sectors, all the, all the important actors uh, in the value chain on board and team them up so that they can uh, elaborate business proposal and then also business plans to achieve th their goal. And the goal is basically for the buyer to get, uh, on the t uh, as I said, the quality, quantity, timeliness of the produce that they want and that from the producer that they can uh, uh, sell that uh, and prepare actually production already with the market in mind. So not just start uh, pr uh, producing and then when it comes to harvest time to, to look for a market, but actually already have a market before uh, starting production. That's Mr. Eli Weiss, Senior Rural Development Specialist with the World Bank. With the signing, all logistics must now be put in place for the official start of the five-year project by late September, early October. A committee will be set up to choose the best business proposals for technical and financial assistance under the project. You would basically have a, a basically call for proposal where uh, the, these actors will team up. So, for example, you would have a, a, a supermarket that will team up with, uh, let's say, um, a, a, an agro-processor. Uh, and the agro-processor would work to, that works together, let's say, with 20 or, or, or 30 farmers together, they would be part of this, of this team. So the farmers, the group, the uh, group or individual farmers, the agro-processor or an aggregator, and the, 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 the buyer, the supermarket, let's say, or a hotel. So they would come together and elaborate what is needed, what kind of investments are in, in needed, and what kind of technical assistance is needed uh, on the, on the uh, agro-processing level, but also on the farm level. Mr. Weiss, who has been assigned to Grenada for the past six years, is preparing to take up another assignment in Singapore. <music> Nearly 70 primary school students from across the country received education grants from the Keith Mitchell Foundation during an awards ceremony at the Grenada Trade Center on Friday. Awardees were selected on strict criteria, which include being Grenadian and a demonstration of needs-based predicament. The foundation is chaired by leading Grenadian and Caribbean hotelier, Sir Royston Hopkin. It is designed to help kids like those six to five of you who are here today to get grants to go to secondary school. We recognize that government provides tuition, Government provides books for those folks who cannot afford to have books. However, we also recognize through the foundation and that those kids still need a lot of assistance. So our grants are to assist in getting your uniforms, your shoes, all the ancillary things that you need to make and make it easy on your parents. The Foundation, a charitable organization established in January last year, was set up in the name of Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell as a way of tackling poverty through education. My initiative here in this foundation is based on my own experience knowing that if I did not get help, I would not be standing where you are, sitting where you are, like you today. And I would not be standing here. 
So I can't forget this. Other officials in attendance were Director Jean Augustine, a Grenadian who became the first African-Canadian woman to be elected to the House of Commons in Canada. So I want to give thanks to those who have encouraged, those who've put your names forward, those who've recognized that there is a sparkle in you, that they want to see light, and that this foundation this philanthropic activity, this award, will help you to blossom. The secretary of the Keith Mitchell Foundation is Mr. Ronald Charles, the treasurer, Dr. Elliot Maguire, and the other directors are Kent Augustine and Jerome McQuilkin. This is the National Report. More news after the break. The Children's Carnival Frolic returns to the National Stadium on Saturday, August 5th. And this year, it's no exception to the fun and frolic experienced by our nation's children as they parade in colorful revelry. It's fancy masks, still pen, calypso show. I love carnival. I love my mask. It's the Children's Carnival Frolic National Stadium. Starting time, 11 a.m. Admission, adults $20. Children pay 10 More at the door. So don't miss out on this sizzling array of colors. It's mass, pan, and calypso. The Children's Carnival Frolic. Saturday, August 5th. Bring your kids, bring every child, and have a ball. The road to the 2017 Calypso Monarch begins with the start of judging of the tents. Calypso lovers will have their plates full with the judging of the tents taking place over the next few days. Details from Trevor Thwaites. The exact number of Calypsonians in the preliminaries is not immediately known, but each of the six tents is mandated to have at least ten competitors. The action begins this evening from 7 o'clock with the Northwest Brigade at Dragon Bay in Molinaire, St. George. Saturday evening is the turn of the Kaiser Bads at the Duluth Cinema in Big Paris and Anjou, with all the attention Sunday on the Kingman Tent in La Sagesse. The River Sally Community Centre comes alive on the evening for the judging of the Images House of Soaker. And the curtains come down with the final act Tuesday, July 25th, when Breakaway and Calypso Kingdom Tents face the judges at Carnival City on the Carinage. Judging is slated to begin 7 o'clock in the evening on all five days. 18 artists will be chosen for the Melody Pepper Jet semi finals at the Grenville Bus Terminal Sunday, April 30th, from which the top nine will advance to the Demands Gras to challenge eight times Calypso King Finney Jeffrey Scholar for the 2017 crown. I am Trevor Thwaites for the GIS News Roundup. And that's the National Report. I'm Leslie Ann Johnson, Cornwall.